Welcome back to the channel, guys. All right, today's video. So today's video is gonna be mostly fishing, but we had an incident on this trip. Um, a very important incident that I'd like to pass on to you, but a very troubling incident. It was It's still very hard to talk about, and honestly, it's a couple weeks later. In this video, my youngest son, Chase, falls overboard from our boat. He falls over the back of the boat, out of the back of the boat, and I had to go in and get him. He did not have a life vest on. I did not have a life vest on. There we go. Five. Oh no, stay on. Come on, he's coming right at me. Finally. Goodness gracious, we need him in need him in the boat. Need him in the boat. Yes. Here, hold on. He's a little rat. Don't let him. Don't let him get into my spot where I'm in. He's being calm right now because he doesn't want to hook in the Go, grab by the mouth. Grab by the mouth. All right, so we got one in the boat. It's been a tough go so far. That one I let sink really low. They've, I think this wind and this current has pushed them pretty deep. All right, so we've moved on to our second part of the trip here, and you can see the boys still have their life vests on at this point. They're sitting there hanging out, safe as could be. Oh, oh, okay. That's a fish. No, Chase, no. Hold on. Yeah, that's he's already on it. Look. Netting. Turn that camera around for me, B, please. Are we netting? Camera on. Oh yeah, watch your line, please. This is, is, he could be a plus tender. Probably a baby. It definitely was in the rocks. Yeah, he's probably just messing with me. He's a releaser. Scoop. Go. There you go. Grab with both hands. Wait, I got it. It's a 15 It's bending. Can you get it or what? It's a, it's a like, five pounder thing. Straight up. Whoa, yo. All right, 15 pounder right there. 14. Who knew it? Who knew it? 15 pounder. Take that, y'all. All right, now it's starting to get a little warmer out in the midday hours here. And you can see I'm taking my sweatshirt off. The Brooks has already taken his life vest off and his jacket. And uh, obviously it's gotten warmer. So the comfort level in those jackets got uncomfortable for them. They took them off. He is fine, comfortable life jackets for your kids. And also make sure that as your parent, the parent, you make sure they wear them all the time. And that was my mistake. It's oh, okay. this is, that's a striper, striper! No, it's not. <laughs> it's not a, don't be fooled. <laughs> Wait, it looked just like this is key. This is a key. We're, we're, we can keep this thing. Your mom, dude, you can't just throw the rod, bro. <laughs> I'm joking. I didn't throw it in. Come here, fishy. Dude, yeah, you already lost my, uh. That's not even a three pounder. Hey, but he's an eater. Yeah. Cheater and eater or eater. Good job, buddy. Okay, as you can see here, now that I realize we are at DEF CON 5, both the boys don't have their life vests on. The river is running. You can see it in the background there, moving by those bubbles. And Brooks is hanging off the top of the uh, T-top, which, hey, he's having fun. I let him do it all the time, but put, they need to have life vests on. Chase is sitting on the edge, could easily fall off. Warning, warning, warning. Hey guys, Morgan joined us today. 
the last day before Maryland goes into lockdown. Morgan hooked up on his bait caster. <coughs> See, now he's never going to go back to heavy rigs. Uh, he's up on the surf. Yeah. Yeah. They're all just dinks, too. That's all right. Dinks are okay right now. Guys, we're going to put some in the boat today. In the cooler. I think it's going to be a catch and, catch be and a cook kind of day. Catch and cook kind of day because... Well, it's going to be a catching process kind of day because we are putting some fish in the boat, I can tell you that right now. Because we're not going to get out for a while, I don't think. I think everybody's going to be handcuffed here. Oh, flip. That's a perfect one. That's the size we want. That's a keeper. That's a light. Give me a light. I'm liking fishing these jig heads. Yeah, I'm just using a just old knocker rig. A stimulus package, except for the people who didn't pay taxes like me. Uh, what in the name of? Hey, what's this? Uh, this is a huge fish. I can't reel. Oh, I think I'm stuck. Hey, let's just. Yeah. Oh, he's, he's, just he's just he's in the current down there. It's time for the announcement of the winner of the Rio sunglasses, which we're doing our giveaway. Every 100 subscribers, we just hit 400. We're already up to 420, heading on our way to 500. The next giveaway is at 500. But the winner for this giveaway, the free pair of Rio sunglasses, you go on the website, you pick out what you want, we ship them to you right from Rios, uh, is going to be right here. Ding a ling a ling a ling. 609 fishing you can see we randomly select these and we appreciate you watching 609 and all you guys that commented on our videos and our subscribers we appreciate it so much enjoy the rest of the video Try this setup. All right, we're gonna try yeah, one of these, y'all. Little slider rig, right to the hook, kind of like a knocker rig, right? Help. Fish finder. Perfect. See how it works. You don't have to. There he goes. There he goes. Hey. Hand up here. Hand up here. Not on, nope, not on here. On here. Uh oh. Ooh. Let your brother handle this one, please. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. What's this? Chase, reel in this rod for us, buddy, and close the thing. Close the thing. Oh, this is going to be the smallest little piece of bait, too. Can you, you reel that rod in, Chase? Good job, bud. I don't know if I just have to drag set low. I usually crank it down to start. Yeah, see how he's, the line's going all the way up to the surface? This is pulling. Very hard to me. Snag, probably. Bring it here, Chase. Yeah, snag. Yeah, he's on the surface, see? Is he small? How is he, dude? Remember, watch the camera over there. Goodness gracious, all the seaweed. I know. Ain't it? Look, it came from nowhere. There we go. Probably 10, 12 pounder, 15. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna have to help him. Greg, help him, help him get it up. Good one, dudes. Nobody knows how to do that except you. You didn't zero it, so now I can't weigh him. Thirteen five Morgan Brooks fifteen. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I'm in the twelve eight range. 
12 weight. Who said what? 9.7. Not, yes, not even a 10. Blown. Not even a 10. Pull it. Eggs. Pull out that one, go. Yeah. Cannonball. <laughs> no. Dude, I'm going to reel one in. How about that? I'm taking one of my they're probably, they're probably three, right? There we go. Oh, shoot. I can take my pants off. Can I suck them in? No. Oh, okay. If he's that big, I'll let you reel him in, but he's not. I don't think he's. Yeah. Wait till I see if he starts. I'm taking one of my layers off. Uh, I think he's just wrapped pretty good. He's not happy. I don't think he's that big, B. Y'all, the old Salty has pulled in more catfish for me in four days fishing than I've in my lifetime, I think, in th three days. And I'll tell you what, the nice crank handle, this is a cheap reel for the stuff that you get out of it. The drag is clearly held up really well. That was our doubt, right? The drag. And the drag is an 18 pound drag and it is held up quite well. Wait, is that still the same one? He's teeny. Hold on to that net tight, buddy. Don't go like that. Hold on to the tight. Good job. Get in here. You get in here, son. Get her done. Daddy caught a catfish. Daddy caught a catfish. Once. Yeah. She's perfect. Six pounder. Yeah. That's a perfect fillet. The chunks. Come on. We'll throw the little ones back. Oh, sorry about your luck. Sorry about, sorry about your dome. Seriously? Man, that water is chilly. All right, guys. This is the part of the video where my son Chase falls off the back of the boat. I do not have this on video. And honestly, if I had it, I don't know if I'd show it. It's still hard to talk about. Seeing it play back in my head is very difficult. When we get on our boats, we tend to forget about things like this, but I'm hoping you guys take out of this the important lesson that our children need to wear life vests. Even if we think they can swim, um, this came down very, this, this came so close to myself and my son dying. Um, what happened was, we had been fishing all day, and you'll see in the video, they had life vests on earlier in the day. It got warmer, they took them off, because we were anchored. And in this situation, that was probably the worst situation we could have done, because the river is running, flowing. He took off his life vest, and they were hanging out, fishing. Well, he ended up falling off the back of the boat, where the engine is mounted. My son, yeah, other son, yeah, Brooks yelled, I looked over to my left, saw him, ran and just jumped on top of him, next to him in the water. Knowing that he can tread water, but he doesn't swim very well, the water is 52 degrees. And the river is running at least five miles an hour. You can see in the video how that water is rushing by the boat. I jumped off the back of the boat onto Chase, proceeded to hold him up, at the same time try to tread water. I turned around after jumping in, it couldn't have been more than two, three seconds. I turned around, looked back at the boat, and we were already 20 feet away from the boat. The current had taken us that far. I yelled to Brooks, life vest, life vest. He picked up Chase's life vest, which was laying right there, threw it to Chase, or threw it to us, and it landed, thank goodness, it landed. You know how hard it is to throw a life vest? He flung that life vest through it, and it landed right next to us. I grabbed it put Chase up on the life vest, lifted him up, just put him on it. You also cannot put a life vest on in the water. It's almost impossible. So I put him on it as a flotation device and then grabbed the two strings on it because he was trying to claw and push me and hold himself out of the water and, and swim in this freezing cold water. The look on his face, I'll tell you guys, you, as a parent, you never want to see this from your children. Never, ever, ever, ever. I still can't get it out of my head. 
And that's the serious part of this video. It was so close to life and death and him going down and then eventually me going down. So he's clawing at me, I put him on the vest and I'm treading water with one arm, two legs, floating down the river. In the meantime, Morgan is on the boat with Brooks. Morgan guides Brooks how to, you know, obviously turn the boat on, get the engine in gear, Morgan's pulling the anchor and they're coming back around to us. It seemed like 10 minutes, y'all. I was treading water, I had all my clothes on, I don't know how I stayed up, but everything started cramping as well. And I was cut right to the chase. They come back around in the nick of time, Morgan grabs Chase by the back of his shirt, lifts him up on the boat. I can, only thing I can do is I'm going under, Morgan sees me going under, going under, I'm bobbing at this point. I reached up and grabbed my little handrail on the side of the boat and held, held on until he could help me get back around to the swim platform. I thought I was gonna die. Where are your life vests, guys? I got back on board, I was freezing. Brooks, you'll see in the pictures, is cuddling with Chase and we're, we've stripped all his clothes off and, and got him warm, but uh, that's what you'll see here in the aftermath and you'll see my reaction and what that was. Um, <laughs> I just got two more feet. Dude, we have light I'm not coming to you, sir. Do you need water? I can't breathe right now, buddy. This one's no. filming. I just turned it on. All seriousness, guys? Oh, jeez. Chase just fell off the boat. Try to jump in and get him. Let me do it next time. I almost died. If they had not gotten around to get me, water's 54 degrees in one minute. They threw a life vest to Chase. I gave it to me and I gave it to Chase. You don't realize how hard it is to tread water when it's that cold. Lucky Chase exact kind of knows how to swim. Lucky he knows how to swim. I saw you going under though, that's what, you did good to the point. I don't know if it was three, four minutes, it felt, felt like 20. <laughs> I'm scared I, I just, to death right now. Hey, your boy did good though, man. He, I got him on the motor, I said, look, sl just slowly go up, hold anchor, came back around. One minute I would die, guys, I'm telling you. I couldn't stay up anymore. I'm soaked. Yeah. Soaked, freezing. You want me to get to go home? You want me to start driving up there? This serious shit, y'all. Have life vests ready to go. Brooks threw one right away at least, so I could give it a chase. And Morgan and Brooks pulled anchor and came back around. All in probably three minutes, four minutes, maybe five minutes time. I don't know what it was. I'm cramping up. I'm frozen. I gotta go. Thank God today. Joke, man. He's taking care of Chase. Again, he was in the tent of water with me too. And if it wasn't for a life vest that V threw over really quick, there's no way we would have made it. God, it's just absolutely amazing that we lived. One more minute in that water and I was dead. Chase had his life vest. I was still holding him up, but he had at least life vest he could hang on to. It's been 20 minutes and I'm still shivering and shaking. My legs are cramping. You can see down there, B, just keeping Chase warm. If it wasn't for Brooks quick thinking, Quick thinking, you know, at least throwing that one light vest. They still had to get the anchor up and come get us. And imagine if Morgan wasn't with us and it was just Brooks and I, I was dead for sure. I haven't had many near death experiences in my life. I'd say out of all of them, that's probably the closest. I really feel like I was, I could have, I could have died at any moment. 
sinking in right now, I can tell you that. I wouldn't have let that little dude go. I didn't care. I just didn't know much longer I had. Another video I won't share with anybody. But I will. Show you guys how serious it is that way. There's a life vest right there. Make sure everybody knows what to do if there's an emergency. We'll talk about this in a second. I'll cut it in a later time because I just I can't talk about it right now. Thank God. Thank God for that. I'm telling you right now, I did not think I was gonna make it. And I haven't told a lot of people this story, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to put it on YouTube, but I think if it helps one parent save a child's life by making sure they wear their life vest, it's worth it. Um, it's a scary thing. If he had his life vest, if Chase had his life vest on, we could have just turned the boat around and gone and got him knowing he was going to float. And yes, he would have been cold and scared. Cold and scared is better than near death. So... I pre we appreciate you guys following along and watching this stuff with us and you know and we do this because it's fun and these are great memories but things like this are great lessons hope you guys take it out of it just what I got out of it and my kids got out of it and those around me got out of it so um, be safe out there y'all the more of the story for this video I hope you take away from this is that life vests are the most important thing on your boat